Now students, on Thursday, we have completed our worksheet, right? That is, lesson number 15, means of transfer. Right students, I hope students, you all have completed your work. Now students, let's move to the new lesson. Today, we are going to learn lesson number 12, that is, early humans. Which lesson we are going to learn today? Lesson number 12, early humans. Students, you all know that who are human beings. Yeah, okay. But students, who are these early humans? Right? Who are these early humans? Students, early means before. Right? So students, I will tell you the story of early humans. Right students, in this lesson we are going to see that how these early humans they used to live in the earlier days. What type of food they eat, what type of dress they wear and how slowly and gradually they change their way of life. This all story we are going to learn in this lesson. Okay? So now let's start our early humans. Now so students, when the light begins on the earth, they were full of forest and wildlife. Okay students, so students, these early humans, they used to live in forest. Right? And students, you know that human beings are most powerful being on the earth, right? They can think and act wildly. But these animals cannot. Right students? Humans can make things and they can pass their knowledge from one person to another. Right students? So students, these early humans, they were very different from the modern humans. You can see here in the image, you can see the picture of the early humans. Is they look same like the modern humans? No. They were totally different from the modern humans. Their clothes, their clothes, their food habit and the tools were not at all developed. Okay? Students, first we will talk about the food. What type of food they Eat. So students, as I said you, these early humans, they used to live in the forest and caves. So these early humans, they used to go from one place to another in search of food. Right? Like animals. You know that animals in the forest, they used to live, they used to go from one place to another in search of food. So see, the earlier days, the human, they also go from one place to another in search of food. Right? So they were called nomads. Means the person who go from one place to another, that person is known as nomads. Means they never settle in one place. You see, nowadays people settle in one place. Right? You also live in the town, city, you were settled. But in the earlier days, the people, they were not settled. They used to move from one place to another in search of food. Okay? So students, let's see what type of food they eat. As they live in jungles, they used to, they used to eat the raw fruits, root soft stem and the flesh of wild animals. So you can see other in the image, students, these early humans, they used to, they used to eat raw fruits, roots, soft stem and the flesh of wild animals. Students, they did not cook these wild animals, they eat the raw, they eat the flesh of these Animal, they eat raw. Eh? They did not cook this 
animal right as they did not know about the fire that how to cook these raw flesh so because of that they used to eat the raw okay so students this we talk about the food okay now students in the next video we are going to talk about their tools you know what is tools you are might have seen the army they use they use the tools tools you can say the weapons to protect themselves as students these early humans they live in the forest so they use some tools to protect themselves from the wild animals so this we are going to see in the next video what tools they used in the earlier days what cloth they wear okay by the time what you are going to do you have to read the textbook and you have to underline the important points okay now take your new words so today's new word is early humans second powerful third knowledge fourth food habit fifth skills sixth 